it's Jenny and Nancy. We're here doing another live tutorial for you like we always do on our Thursday and Friday nights of the week. We have two colors for you. We're going to be doing a transfer foil um, and we're going to show you how to use that with our brand new eye hold gel, which is a pre premium transfer foil gel. So if you're curious about how this is going to work, you're going to see that in person. Um, the difference between our eye hold transfer foil gel and our eye hold premium gel, the difference is going to be 30 seconds for our premium and then one minute for our eye hold transfer gel. So they're both great. They both work really awesome, but the difference is going to be your time frame. So if you're trying to do this a little bit quicker, you want to make sure it does it every time. Definitely your eye hold premium transfer foil gel is going to work for you. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And I have two different colors. I have Sandy Shellac Creekside and I have Sandy Shellac Electric Orange. So both of these colors are going to be doing a Christmas and a Halloween tonight just to show you guys the different transfer foils that we have. Um, I have some really cool ones here. These are all of our Halloween we have so many different ones so many different ones literally like i think there may, there might be eight of them no there's 10. there's 10 for each holiday so there's 10 for christmas and there's 10 for halloween right we have them in these really beautiful boxes when you order them they're going to come just like this and you're going to get your eye hold transfer foil gel i think this does come with it um, if not, Nancy can correct me on that. Um, she is with a client right now, so just give us a few seconds for that. Um, but like I said, I have two different colors here, and we're going to use our transfer foil right on the top of them. I think maybe we'll go ahead with Christmas first, just to kind of give you a really cute idea. I don't know which one I want to use, though, because they're all really super cute. Maybe let's do... Let's do this one. Oh, I'm, I attached my nails to me. I'm sorry guys, give me a second here. There we go. So I think I'm gonna use this one actually. I think this is really pretty. I think this will look great on top of the blue and it's got really cute designs. So what I'm gonna do first, now that I know what transfer foil I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use my premium eye hold gel transfer foil gel. And I'm gonna put one coat of this on there and I only have to cure this for 30 seconds, guys. After 30 seconds, it's going to go right on there. You guys will see, you've watched me use the eye hold gel before, but this is our premium gel. Like I said, the difference is gonna be 30 seconds in cure time and then you shouldn't have an issue with this sticking at all. It's gonna stick the first time every time. Perfect. So I'm going to pop this right in the lamp. Like I said, 30 seconds. And if you guys are curious um, about what styles are in this, we generally do a lot of nails to kind of show you all the different designs. This is the Halloween one right here. Like I said, there's 10 different designs. Open it. Oh, I have it out here if you want to see it. Yeah, Nancy can show you. So you can see all 10 of them are completely different. I really like this one a lot, but that's because I really like leaves and florals. <laughs> but these are so cute. There's one I really love that's like hand-drawn looking. It's so cute. Oh, I have one of this. Yeah, Nancy has one on her nail. Show them. Yeah, this one right here. It even says Halloween on it with like some skull and crossbones and some little... No, you can layer them though. Yeah. So now that my transfer foil gel has been completely cured, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to... Let me see. Make sure. Yeah, it's really tacky. Can you hand me the Christmas? We're going to do the one... Are you doing Christmas first? Of, yeah, I'm going to do Christmas first. Okay. Why can like you wait ahead of time? Yeah. You know, it's one of those things. I can't wait. I'm one of those people. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's try and get like some Christmas trees on there. Let's do this big area right here. So I'm just pressing this down 
and you really want to go down the center first and then you're going to go on the sides and just press firmly if you're doing this on a client it's a little easier because their hand is pressing back against you makes it a lot easier and then right here where it's like curved because this is a tip and not the natural nail it's not going to be like this big of a hump here guys so but i'm just going to try my best to get it completely on there there we go usually the cuticle is not going to be that yeah it's not going to be this like big that. hump yeah all right, so now that I've done that, I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this right away. Bam, look how cute! And super, super easy, guys. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my glue gel, and I'm gonna put some pearls on this because I feel like pearls and SS3 are really awesome accents, especially the pearls for Christmas time. So I'm gonna use my number six gel end on our twin tip brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of this on here. I don't need a lot because I'm using the really tiny ones. So we don't have to go super crazy. And then I'm just gonna do one small layer of my condensed glue gel over the surface of the snail. Especially right down here. There we go. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna, any excess, I'm just gonna wipe right off into the pot. And then my recommendation is that before you stick the lid on, you need to take a paper towel. If you're not gonna clean this all the way, you need to wipe it all the way off because when you stick this inside of the lid and it has any kind of glue gel or any kind of gel residue on it, it's gonna stick to the sides and then it's gonna fray your brush out and it's gonna look super crazy and you really don't want that. I'm gonna use this again, so I'm not gonna clean it yet, but I do wanna make sure that it doesn't stick to the lid. But you wanna put the lid on, because if you don't put the lid on, you could cure it underneath the light. And we're gonna put the lid on this too for the same reason. You don't wanna cure any of your products, okay? So, we have this on. We're gonna do our top coat now. So, we're gonna use our eye hold gel top coat. This is our no wipe gel top coat. And then I'm just going to float that right on the surface of my condensed glue gel. You can see how I'm just lightly applying this. And then I'm gonna, this is kind of like a random design, so I'm gonna place some of my pearls and my SS3 randomly. I don't think I have to do anything crazy. Ornaments on the tree. Yeah, As ornaments on the tree, right? Nancy Smart, because that's exactly what I was going to do. I'm going to put one right here. I think there was like, like a little like space. Mega mix colors, or you can yeah. do just SS3. Oh my god, it looks so cute. We're going to do some... We'll do some SS3 on here too. Let's put one. Hey, Ji Chang, thank you so much for right tuning in. Here on our little Christmas. Down a little bit. There we go. Oh. Let me see. Off the camera, down a little bit. So right there? Yep. Nancy's going to navigate me a little bit. Is that better? Yep. Sorry, guys. Yeah. We don't mean to get off camera, but it happens sometimes. Oh, uh, thank you, Jerisha. She said share. Aw, thank you. She's always sharing for us. Thank you, sweetheart. Here we go. I think that looks really cute. So now that we've done that, we just pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds. Like I always say, make sure you're going down the sides because as you can see, this one was a little close to the edge and I did end up actually moving it. So I'm just going to move it back towards the center a little bit just to make sure that that doesn't catch on my client. Then I'm gonna stick this in the lamp for 60 seconds. That's how long our top coat cures for. And then we will get started on the second one. This looks so cute. But in my opinion, that's an extra like 15 to $20 on top of your service. Just because we added so many crystals. If you just wanted to do just a transfer foil, you could get away with $10. Um, 
but honestly when you're using the premium transfer foil gel I wouldn't charge any less than ten to fifteen dollars because you're paying good money for all of your products and you want to make sure that your clients are not only paying you for your time and your skill but also for the money that you've put into this right so this isn't just something that you buy for fun this is an investment towards your career so you want to make sure you have all the proper tools and we're just trying really hard to make sure we have all those proper tools for you so that you can achieve whatever your goal is in life um, i'm having a lot of fun doing transfer foils i really like them especially because there's just like i can hand paint all day long and i really love hand painting and it's super fun don't get me wrong you guys have seen me do some hand painting on here that was really quick i do things that are a lot more intricate than that but nowadays, people just don't have the time. So unless they make like a special appointment with me, a lot of times I'll try and show them some transfer foil gel because it's gonna fit their needs. It's something that's gonna be quick, but also really creative and artistic. So don't feel like you're limited. Like we have so many different kinds of transfer foils. That's the reason that we show every single one of them to you. We try really hard to give you every single design that we do. And then, like I said, we don't just have holiday transfer foils, we have all different kinds of them. We have flowers, we have fruit, we have like fun summertime stuff, all different kinds of stuff. So definitely check out the website and then make sure you're using that code JennyW because you're gonna get 10% off of your entire order. So check all those it? out, they're so cool. I'm using this, huh? Ah, th this is oh, the one I use. You can see oh, the sorry. whole image came off right there. Right there. Just one little spot. I think I didn't press hard enough. That's why I put my little... You can't even tell because I put the little ornaments on the tree, so you would never even know that that happened. The goes really well. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to use my premium eye hole transfer foil gel. I'm going to do another coat of this right on the top of my orange. And then we'll get started with our Halloween design. I have another bottle of this right here that's been opened and used. So that's the one I'm going to use. But you guys, if you have any uh, recommendations or anything that you want to see, like I'm always telling you, please feel free, not only in the comments, but maybe later if you're talking um, to us on Facebook or DMing and you have just a quick idea that you want, definitely, definitely let us know, okay? There we go, it's smooth, it's nice and pretty, this is perfect. I'm gonna pop this in the lamp for 30 seconds and then we'll be able to put the other one on there. Yes, you need to use a light with all of these. These are all gel products, okay, sweetie? All of these need to use an LED light, but they will cure under any LED light just depending on the time frame. So like I said, we do have our eye hold transfer foil gel. Um, this is our regular eye hold transfer foil gel. This does take one minute to cure. But then tonight I'm showing you guys the difference between that and our premium eye hold transfer foil gel. So our premium one is gonna stick water? every single time, but you're also going to get that time frame difference. So 30 seconds and one minute. That's gonna be your difference. So these are for your clients that are moving around a lot, the ones that can't really sit still because they have somewhere to go. Um, they need to be out quick. So this is just gonna cut a little bit of time off of your service and you don't have to worry about whether or not it's gonna stick every time. Our transfer foil eye hold gel, this one's gonna cure in one minute. It's gonna take a little bit more precision. You're gonna have to use your finger you really want to use your body heat in my opinion when you're doing this you don't really want to use a silicone tool I think your body heat helps better so that's just my opinion I don't know you guys try it out and you let me know we don't have one without an LED light um actually I take that back Sky we do have one without an LED light it's a transfer foil glue and you can find that I think on our website right Nancy and I think that that may be ten dollars fifteen dollars check it on the website yeah you'll have to check the price on the website i'm sorry that we don't have the price for you right now um, but definitely check that out if you need something that's going to be quick on a regular polish i would still recommend that you do transfer foil on top of a gel polish and not on top of a regular polish 
but you might have clients that are willing to sit there and wait for your regular polish to dry, so that's totally up to them. Okay, so this cured for our 60 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and find whatever little thing I wanna use here. Maybe we can use this one at more. This one? This one? Whatever is more in the black colors will show better, you think? Yeah, okay, let's do this know. one. These ones would probably be good. No, this huh? one has got too much orange on it. Yeah. That one? one I like. Yeah. Okay. And then also you can layer them. You don't have to be an accessory, just exact the same design is. Let me see. Hold on. One second. I'm gonna move right here. Perfect. Uh, Got it. Facebook and Instagram. Hold on. So one second. Give me one second. Just wanna wave back to everyone because thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you guys. All right. Okay, ready? Which one do you find any? You don't have to be I'm gonna do it just like all. I think I'm gonna do it like this one. You can layer them too, Jenny. Do you wanna try to layer them? Do it one first, yeah, and then okay. layer another ones later. So let's see if we can do that. We'll do our little. We'll do this one first. All right. I don't want to get the cat feet on there, so I'm trying really hard not to do that. Or you can layer them first and then do another coat of gentle foil and lay the layer another designs on it. It works great. Looks good. I'm trying really hard to like press it down because you really need to put some pressure on there. There we go. Okay, so I got my little thing on there. Let's see yeah. if maybe we can do let's do this this tree here too I don't know if the candy's gonna transfer or not I'm trying not to let it but we'll see okay look at that okay now let's do the little bat put the bat on there the bottom There we go, okay. Now I'm, Nancy's saying we can do this again. So let's put another coat of transfer foil gel on there. Let's see if we can get a spider on top of the web, right? Yes, I'm so excited. All right, so swipe the sides. Like I said, guys, you do wanna do that. You wanna keep the shape of your nail. So I'll pop this in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then like I said, if you can't find something um, that you want because you don't want the holiday, you can always go on there. We have so many different kinds of these. We have flowers, we have fruit, we have um, like Louis Vuitton style, we have um, fishnet, we have like um, lace. Galaxy. Galaxy, um, we have like rose animal prints. Animal print, you're right. We do, we have cheetah. Um, we have plant for holidays coming. We have a lot That's of so stuff, amazing. guys. All right, I think it's been 30 seconds. It's kind of hard for me to look at this lamp and know how long it's been going. Okay. So let's find a cute little spider on here. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to have to get in the spider in that the same one, right? No, I don't. I'm going to use this yeah, one. Different one. Yeah, I'm going to use this spider right here. Oh, hold on, let me see. See him? Try not to let the mask touch. If you wanted to make this easier on yourself than you I am, cut you can cut it. Right? Yeah. There we go. Aha! Look at that. I got the spider on. Okay. I don't know. What should we do? Like, what should we do, guys? Do you know, have any ideas of what should we do? What should we? Can we layer on this with? 
Yeah, you can layer anything you can want. We put this little leaf on there. Yeah. Oh no, let's do the lollipop. The lollipop? Yeah, and there's the tree? one. There's one. Yeah, there's right here at the top. It's stuck in the spider web. Aha! <laughs> so I'm so cool. excited. I'm sorry. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so like freaking like neat. So I don't know. I really like because it. Because usually when you use the, you all afraid of to not chant for, so they yeah. get so nervous. But with this one, you feel you don't, so You literally much don't have to worry about anything. It's just gonna be there. Like I don't know. I want to add more, but I don't because it's gonna be so busy. What is that gonna look good with that? One? I don't know. One more piece. <laughs> I'm like, come on, Maybe there's something else. Oh, yeah, whatever. I think you're right, Nancy. Let's do a skull right in this, this tree. Skull, yeah. I, like I said, I'm trying really hard to get it so that I don't actually, like, transfer anything else. You want me to cut it for you? Yeah, let's cut it. Just to make sure that, like, we don't, because I am I feel like I'm going to get everything on here, and it might be easier to cut it. And then, like, my recommendation would be if your client is coming and you know that they're going to want transfer foils, and you have kind of an idea in mind because they're going to let you freestyle, cut it before. If you don't know if they're going to let you freestyle or not, I mean, take a little bit of time. But if you're going to layer like this, just cut it out. So I think it'll work a little bit better. It doesn't really matter. Tweezer? No, I think I can do it with my hand. You can do it with your hand? Yeah. I can get tweezers. And I'm just going to make it like this. It's a little triangle. Just so you guys can see how I'm going to do this. I have a little triangle in my transfer foil. And then I'm just going to hold on to the top part and press the rest of it down onto the nail. So we'll do our little skull and crossbones right here in the tree. So I'm pressing this right on top of there. And then here we'll press all of it. And then I'm going to peel it away. Bam. So cool. It's really crazy looking. It's pretty awesome. I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about transfer foils. I'm going to say definitely when I first started out doing this, I was like, I'll never use a transfer foil. I'm going to hand paint everything. No client wants to sit there for as long as I want to. I'm sorry. I have lots of patience. My clients do not. <laughs> yeah. okay, They're Jenny like, okay, Jenny, it. it's great. It looks beautiful. I love it. But can you do it faster next time? I'm sorry. No, you cannot rush a masterpiece. Hi, Vicky. But we can rush this one. Hey, Vicky. But Jenny can. How uh, are you? A little it. pumpkin at the bottom of the tree. Oh, oh, good idea. Look, we have one right here. Look, we have put one right there. I don't even need to cut it. Let me see. Can I see? Oh. You ready? Yeah. Nancy wants to see it. She said a little pumpkin right at the bottom of the tree. That was a good idea. Oh. Bam. Look at him. Right there. Just hanging out at the bottom of the tree with a little graveyard. <laughs> That's really cute. No, Liz, it is really easy. Literally, it's just easy. I'm not making it look easy, I promise. It, it just is easy. <laughs> if you wasn't in at the shows, we was dead. Yeah, the Nancy said so many people were blown away by this and at the Philly show. So definitely when you guys see us and we're doing like shows and you want to see it in person, just come check it out or show up at the show and you'll see just how easy it is in person because honestly... I mean, I can do this all day long on the internet, but you're never going to believe me until you see it in person. <laughs> yeah. Liz, you, you got the chant for foils, so you should try it. Yes. You got the chant for foils, and it's so easy. Okay, so now I'm going to put some glitter on here because I need my glitz. Okay, guys? Oh, I'm knocking okay. over. I'll get it. I'm knocking everything over on Nancy. She's going to be so mad. <laughs> Jenny, what the hell? Okay, so I have my glitz glue gel. I've got my brush. Hey, do you know what? Do you think it's a good idea to do this? Put a little bit of it on there? Pixie? Yeah, we can put it like at the top. It, we don't have to do it all over the whole thing. We can just ombre it no, a little I bit. Mean, you don't have to ombre. Just dab some little. You don't have to feel completely. Just a little bit. Just add some on there. 
Nancy, her ideas are all over the place, I'll tell you right now. So we're going to put just a small, like, thin layer of our Glitz glue gel condensed on here. And then, like I said, guys, please make sure that before you stick the top back on, that you are wiping this all the way off. You want to make sure that you're not getting any glue gel inside of your brush. And then my recommendation is, you can see how I kind of point it just a little bit like this. And I do that so that when I stick my thing back on, my lid's not going to catch any of my bristles. Okay, and then always cap everything. You don't want any cross-contamination here. And then I'm going to use my no wipe gel top coat. I'm gonna float that right on the top of it. Yes, Vicki said, come see us at the Columbus show. Go see us at the Columbus show, please. We would love to see your smiling faces. And also we wanna show you our magic, our nail magic, right? It's the season for magic. I'm sorry, I really love Halloween, so I literally cannot wait. I was sad, I told Martin, I was like, I'm excited that we're going to Iceland, but I want, I like trick-or-treating. <laughs> I know, that's really dumb. I'm 29, but I love, so I, I love it. Tell him to come down so he can do trick-or-treat with you. Yeah. Oh, but then it's gonna be literally just right after you get back, so. Yeah. Okay, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of my SS3 on here, and then I'm going to put a little bit of my pixie dust. Maybe so on the, maybe on the body of the tree, you think? On the body of the tree. So it's make it okay. glitz up. I can do that. I think. So I'm just gonna put some it. random. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Yes. There you go. Just to kind of give it a little extra glitter. Like they're stuck in the web, right? And I love to put them down at the very end of the nail because you, the end of the nail catches everything. And so like Nancy's saying, I can do all over this tree here. We'll have like a glitzy little tree. I wish I had like a little, do you have a scoop? No. This is probably quicker anyway. Twin tip brush. Oh, Nancy's right. I always forget about the other side of the brush because I only use it to paint with. <laughs> no, so she's right. What we can do here is we'll just get our twin tip brush and brush it a little bit into here and then it's gonna it's just gonna gather on there yeah Nancy's so smart thank you Jane because I have a small team I think I think I'm so lucky yeah. to have all talented nail technician you all have the same passion so I we would love to share and you not know, only show you with the product, we will show you how. And we do it. all this That's stuff for free. free. I don't I don't make anything for coming here and showing you guys how to do all my videos. I do this literally because I want you guys to be able to know how to use all the products that we sell. There's a reason that we're good in this industry. It's because we help each other and we build each other up. So if you have any questions, you can always feel free to DM me. You know where my inbox is. Look how cute. This is super awesome. Okay, I think I'm done adding these on there. I think we got, I think we got enough. It's so cute. Okay, so now that we've done that guys, we're gonna go ahead and pop this into the lamp. And I'm just, like I said, you always want to check the edges because you don't want that to be so close that your client is going to catch them. And then I'll just gently go around the edge of this with my precision glue. Precision glue. Thank you, Nancy. 
I'm just checking it to make sure everything looks it good. Looks, looks, so good. looks great. Okay, I'm gonna hear this for one minute, guys. So one minute of a cure, guys, and then it's completely done. Kawana showed her. She just needs to practice it. That's right. She missed it at the Philly show. Is it available on the website now? Yes. yes. You can find all the things we're using right now on the website, even the pearl. Um, this is our SS3 size, and then this is our, what? what is this called? Gun, is this gunmetal? Um, or... I don't think it's actually called gunmetal. I think it's called. Um, we have so many. Different yeah, products, guys. and I don't. So I don't think it's obsidian up either. Up right now, so then you know exactly what it is. Yeah, Nancy is um, gonna tell us. And then, if you ever have a problem with your brush curling like this, guys, what you can do is get some boiling hot water. Stick this in your boiling hot water and it's gonna straighten right back out. That is what I do every time our brush gets like this. I should know it was like this or I probably would have done it beforehand. All right, so the name is called, is the numbers when you see on the search bar, you wanna say is Diamond Dust Pixie Ombre and is the Twilight Collection. Twilight, that's right, okay. So see, I was like, with, I know it's called something. Is the, it's come with the Crystal Diamond Dust Pixie AB and a Twilight. So you can do it together or you can do it separate, either way. So I can see in the center that these are really good and attached, but I just wanna make sure that right here on this little edge that none of my crystals are gonna be coming off. So I'm just using my precision pen right there. That's the only place I'm gonna use it. I don't need to use it anywhere else. It's all completely done up all in the center, all around the edges because there was more product there. So I can see that it's in there. You guys are gonna be able to tell in person too a lot better than you're gonna be able to tell on the video. But after you're done, you always wanna stick the needle right back into the pen because if you do not, it's gonna go all over your desk, it's gonna go all inside the lid, and then you're gonna be like, dang it, Jenny, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Listen, I told Jenny. you. Jenny did it before. <laughs> I've oh. done it a couple times, guys. I'm really bad at it. But this is why I try to tell you, because if I tell you, then I'm reminding myself every time. So make sure that you're doing that, okay? And then 60 seconds of a cure on this too. Everything that we have, except for our premium eye hold gel for transfer foil, yeah, everything yeah. else is 60 seconds of a cure. This little baby right here is only 30 seconds of a cure. So make sure you're curing properly if you don't cure properly then it's not going to have the finished look that you want so one minute on this in the lamp and then my recommendation too guys when you're doing something like crystal pixie especially have your client rock their hand gently from side to side you don't they don't need to go crazy just very lightly kind of go in like this motion and you want to do that so that the light will penetrate all on the sides of the nail bed you wanna make sure that the sides of your nail bed are getting completely cured, right? Because that's gonna ensure that everything is completely stuck on there. You're not gonna have any problems with that, okay? Then like I said, when you guys are checking out, make sure you use your Jenny W code, that's J-E-N-N-Y-W, and you do get 10% off of your entire order if you use that code. It's a pretty good deal. And then any orders of $150 or more, guys, you get free shipping. So if you're getting an order and you're at like 128, 130, if you just add one more little thing on there, you're gonna get free shipping and you don't have to pay for that at all. Oh my God. It's done, look at these pretties. So we did a Halloween and we did a Christmas nail both in the same video, guys. I used Pearl SS3AB and then we used our Twilight Collection Diamond Dust Pixie as well as our Christmas transfer foil and our Halloween transfer foil, which you watched me layer. So fun stuff, guys. And then tomorrow, we're going to show you guys um, some empty dipping. So look forward to that. It's going to be really awesome. Um, we're going to show you how to do all of our stuff right on top of dipping. I know we always talk about that. And then I'm always showing you guys my own nails with dipping. Um, and I always have crystals on their last forever. So we want to be able to show you guys with our, tr with our demonstration as well that all of this stuff is going to work right on top of your dipping. 
Thank you guys so much. Don't forget about our giveaway. We are doing a giveaway for 3K followers. Once we get to 5K, we're gonna do another one. We're already at 4,100 something. Um, so our giveaway is gonna end on October 1st. And then when we hit 5K, we're gonna do another one, okay guys? So definitely go on our Facebook, go on our Instagram. You can share both of those. You have to be following us. Um, and then you're only gonna win one. So you can't win both of them, but you can enter both of them. So make sure that you're entering them both because you'll have two chances to win. So what we're giving away is we're giving away our hollow sheets. I know you guys saw us use those last week. We're doing, um, I think the flame sheet and we're doing them in every color that we have. And there are four different styles of the color and then four sheets in each color style. So you get your non-wipe top coat, you get your matte top coat. So you get both of these top coats and then you get one, two, three, four different colors and each single one of them is gonna come with its with four sheets of a color. If that makes any sense. So it's like totally 16 yeah. different colors. Yeah, but yeah, 16 completely different colors and each one of these is gonna come with four colors in it. So when you go online and you're looking and you're trying to buy this, um, it's gonna be the same way. You'll see one with one, two, three, four, three with five, six, seven, eight, four and two. So you guys just have to Go on there and check that out but definitely enter the giveaway because this is a really good giveaway okay guys thank you so much guys if you have any questions please feel free to message us on instagram or facebook but the best way to get a hold of us 100 percent every time is to give us an email and you can email us at info at glitz accessories and such.com not only can you email us but you can call us too if you need to get a hold of us for any reason that's 206 seven seven one five zero eight six and then again as always thank you so much for such a wonderful live video with you guys i will see you again tomorrow and we're going to show you how to do some cool stuff on top of dipping thank you guys so much don't forget to use the code jenny w okay so when you go on there use your code jenny w and you get 10 percent off of your order all right guys thank you have a wonderful night. Have a good day tomorrow. I will see you at the end of our work day, okay? Bye. Bye.